Welcome to our video tutorial on PostgreSQL subqueries. In today's video, we will dive into the world of PostgreSQL subqueries, understand their syntax and explore various scenarios where they can be used to solve a real world problem. So what exactly is a subquery? Well, a subquery also known as an inner query or a nested query is a query that is embedded within another query. It allows you to use the result of one query as a part of another query. In PostgreSQL, subqueries can be used in the select, from, where and having clauses of the SQL statement. Let's take a look at the syntax of PostgreSQL subqueries. The general format is as follows. The select clause specifies the columns you want to retrieve in the outer query. The from clause specifies the table from which you want to retrieve the data. The where clause includes a condition that compares a column in the outer query with the result of the subquery, which is enclosed in parentheses and follows the in keyword. Let's dive into an example to understand this better. Suppose we have two tables, orders and customers. Our goal is to retrieve the detail of customers who have placed an order with the total value greater than $500. Here is how you can achieve that using a subquery in the where clause. In this code, the subquery retrieves the customer IDs from the orders table where the total value is greater than $500. The outer query then uses these customer IDs to retrieve the corresponding customer name from the customer table. The output of this query is a list of customers names who have placed the orders with the total value greater than $500. Now move to the next example, subquery in the from clause. Imagine we have an unemployed table with various columns including employee ID, first name, last name and department ID. Our task is to find the average salary of employees in each department. We can accomplish this by using a subquery in the from clause like this. In this code, the subquery retrieves the department ID and salary from the employees table. The outer query treats this subquery as a temporary table and named subquery and calculates the average salary per department using the average function. The final result is then grouped by the department ID. The output of this code is a table with two columns, department ID and the average salary displaying the average salary for each department. Lastly, let's explore an example that involves a subquery in the select clause. Consider a product table with a column like a product name and a unit price. Our objective is to retrieve the product names along with the count of customer who have purchased each product. Here is the code how we can achieve that. In this code, the subquery calculates the count of distinct customers IDs from the orders table for each product. The outer query retrieves the product name from the products table and include the result of subquery as a column name customer count. The output of this query is the table with the two columns, product name and customer count, displaying the product name along with the count of customer who have purchased each product. And that concludes our exploration of PostgreSQL subqueries. We have covered the syntax and demonstrated how subqueries can be used in different clauses to tackle various data analysis tasks. With this knowledge, you can take your database querying skill to the next level and handle more sophisticated operations. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more exciting database tutorial. Thank you for watching.